guys, Crew of Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back with the Bad Batch. Uh, uh, the yes. Bad Batch. Last time, Bad Batch, Aaron. We went to Sorrento. Yes, we did. Which was cool it because was cool. I, been, I was again. on Sorrento just the other day when I was you listening were. to Dooku Jedi Lost. <laughs> oh, that's coming out on Badonka Gonk in a little bit. Oh, uh, that review. What's the date for that? Well, the date is the 26th of this month. Ah, Thursday, yeah. 3. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, yeah, we were on Serena. We were uh, trying to loot the Count's loot. Mm-hmm. Didn't really get much. Or Not just his loot. Anything. Yeah. Half the galaxy's loot. Most of the galaxy. Wrecker was a tank. He was. He was a CIS tank. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, great. And then, uh, yeah, we left uh, Romar to do the work of trying to preserve Serena's culture we'll mm-hmm. in history, and we'll see what that, if that happens. But our poll was, do you... I was say, there was one other thing. I don't know if I ever talked about it from la- last night yep. or last week, but uh, I like the conversation about uh, Omega maybe the reason that Clone Force 99 isn't with the Empire. Like yeah. They, they kind of talked about that a little bit, and I don't remember us talking about it last week. Sure. But it was, it was just like a nod of like... Because of her, things kind of happen like this. That's and if true. If it wouldn't have been for her, maybe they would have been more like Crosshair and just yeah. been with the Empire. You sure. Know? Yeah. The catalyst like being that do. because they are, you know, um, different types of clones, their chips didn't work as well. Yeah. Right. But I still, you know, Crosshair still made that decision. They can still make those decisions, and yeah. So I, I like that too. I thought it was they a good little, little sister. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I thought it was cool. Uh, but Aaron, you mm. rudely, rudely interrupted me when I was going to ask. Do you think Romar Adele and or the Serena Data Corps will return this season? And I'm not interested in your answer. Yes! <laughs> 66. Thank God. 66% Order. of people they did said purpose. yes. I hope so. They're like, hey, we get season nine. No, no, no. no. Stop it. Yes. <laughs> it's not nice. Not this time. <laughs> Yil says, maybe not exactly the Data Corps, but... The idea that there are other technologies that get forgotten because of the Empire might become a bigger part of the story. Mm. Uh, in Andor, we also touched the topic with Nemec. Yes, we did. Namek? Nemec. I thought Namek, Namek was from Dragon Ball. Seriously, what the fuck is Namek? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody keeps turning Super Saiyan. Yeah. Dr. Jero's like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for Rick to watch it. Heesvarm says, The last look he gave tells me he'll be back. And then also, a whole other comment, they said, Bad bitch. <laughs> he spelled it. <laughs> How do you spell it? Like that? Bad. With an H. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jordan Malley says, Misa says, why not? Why not? Hmm. Just like, who's Misa? Just like Hillary Duff. Kevin Galvez says, It's possible not every small detail goes down without a purpose. Admiral Yularen voice. Oh. It is possible not every small detail goes down without a purpose. I love hearing his voice when we play the pinball machine. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Good play right now. Let's not watch that match. Uh, we'll end with Prince of the Word Over Salmon who says, Of course it will. They will need it to blackmail the Emperor when they discover that the Data Corps has both his and Dooku's Nudes. Nudes? Nudes. Like noodles? Not like noodles. Like nudes. Like straight Full up frontal. Count Dooku. No pajamas. Still doing like this, though. So that's what the D stands for. The solitary clue. <laughs> Gregor? I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. Beautiful. Yeah. Where are we? Mars? We're not in a galaxy far, far away. This looks like the planet that one clone was when Rex, like, crash-landed. Uh-oh. Absolutely gorgeous. This Uh-oh. is beautiful. I like this farming area in this, like, deserty place. Final approach, Governor. <clears throat> yeah, governors. He looks a little scared. Dude, this yeah. place, that place is cool looking. Yeah, it's a fortress. It's like a, yeah, it's like a fortress of Jabba's palace up there. <laughs> it's not kept very clean. I think they're in a desert, so it's hard, I guess. Sandstorms and stuff. Sure. No, yeah, I, I get you. I was just thinking that it's not imperial clean. Yeah. He already. He's off. <laughs> yeah. 
Why are there sirens for the Empire showing up? Or is that a siren for something separate? Master Chief. I was gonna say, that looks like a Spartan helmet. <laughs> Request has been received, reviewed, and as you can see, rejected. How disappointing. Does he not notice there's like Doom Guy sitting behind her? Oh. Battle droids. droids! Yeah. yeah. CIS droids. Did you see Imperial? No. Yes. Definitely not. <laughs> Never would I have said that. Uh oh. Rampart. We talked about this. Mm-hmm. Well, I couldn't finish his lunch, you know? CG Jesus. Reminds me, how long were you left stranded on that Kaminoan platform before being recovered? 32 rotations. Jesus. Dang. You're being sent in under the guise of discussing a diplomatic resolution. Oh, wow. Assassination. Your new commander will brief you on the details. Oh. Report to the Battle Memorial at all 900 hours. Wonder who his new commander is going to be. It's been a while. Good to see Cody? you. Cody? Commander. It is Cody. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lost his color. No. Nice you. Yeah. A lot's changed. Rumors are more and more clones have been questioning the order. Regs. Mm. Regs. Then they are traitors. Like the Jedi. Hmm. Mm. You're Obi Wan's Is clone, man. Cody clown. questioning the order? Good soldiers follow orders. Good soldiers. <sighs> it's cool to see Cody. I want to know what happened yeah. to him. No, I like that I could, like, you could see it sent just by a silhouette. <laughs> what? They all the same. Leave me no, the silhouette. He's got the visor. He's got the. He's got a bunch of stuff. Release me this instant! Man, I've missed this. <laughs> Dooku was right in the end. Hmm? He knew the Republic was corrupt, Dooku. that it would collapse and become something worse. He saw it coming. The Galactic Empire. It's crazy Dooku was right. Yeah. It looks like they've chosen not to negotiate. How unfortunate. Mm -mm. For you. Doesn't seem to be a battle hardened Imperial. No. Airstrike team, move into position. Airstrike team. Nope. Dang, they got Service laser zookas. <laughs> laser zookas. Dude, this city is. Oh, cool. they got tanks. I mean, all that shit was just. There after the shutdown. Oh, great shot. Where have been at? Why is it a little heart? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, there goes your pilot. Oh, that was. <laughs> they high fived. <laughs> they actually hit something. They did. Check for any survivors. Yes, Governor. This is why it's a uh, solitary. You know what though? They don't have to be reprogrammed because like they're still working with the separatists, right? Yeah. Just enough to Unless refuse the shutdown order. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Which Kalani just when he got the that order was just like, nah, right? I think so. And then he yeah. kept all the other droids on, right? No survivors. You didn't even. Yeah. Coding crosser. Two survivors. Yeah. What's gonna happen here? That buys us time, but not much. Without a ship, we'll have to infiltrate the city on foot. Oh, they got a few. Okay. Dang. There's so many of them. How'd the battle droids miss all of them? They're bad. They just solve dead bodies like no one's alive. Take that tank. Gotta sneak up on it. I'm a bridge. <laughs> on a bridge. Yeah. Any direction we come at that tank, they'll pick us off. You can't destroy the bridge. How you can get up the, to the thing? Trust me. You do make things interesting. 
impressed me. I hate that he's not a part of the batch anymore, but his Imperial armor is so cool. It really is. Space corn! We saw that earlier. Yeah, we're gonna say it every time. We didn't say space corn before, did we? I didn't realize it was space corn. Said it in my heart. You said it in your heart. They shot your heart. <laughs> oh, can you All shoot down, right the down the barrel? Come on, do it! He's just waiting. <laughs> oh my god! He took out a tank with a sniper rifle. I've done that so many times and That's why they're the best. Sniper elite. Sniper elite. Yeah. I, say, I don't think it works in like battlefield. I'm stuff. sad that Wrecker wasn't yeah. here to be like, ah, good job, brother. Oh, I wanted to blow it up. <laughs> Jeez. Covering fire. Joy Pumper. Oh, no. Just a frag. It's like we're watching an episode of Clone Wars all over. It is. Yay. Not just with sadness added. But but the enemies <laughs> are the, but the enemies are the clones, right? Yeah. We didn't know they were the whole time. Well, I mean we did know, the, but the battle droids were always the good guys. <laughs> we like them. Are we the baddies? One, Nova, you with us. We're we'll take the north axis. Team two, take the south. So there's Cody's still using their regular names. Mm -hmm. oh, regular, they're he's not calling. They're CTs. given names. Yeah, yeah. they're chosen names. That's interesting. Yeah, I suppose so. They're given names. They're CTs. Yeah, but they pick their own names. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! Lost to destroy us. No, Wyler. Oh, wait, oh, is he on the other side? Just stunned off. Hit him with a pop up. Too hard. Too hard. Oh, we saw on them. Oh, them going on the steps is scary. <laughs> yeah, they're too fast. Man. Oh, he's hiding behind a droid. He's like, great design. Gotcha. Should have kept the shield up. More! Oh my gosh. They uncurl and start firing so fast. Yeah. I like the tactical uh, droid like uh, watching. He's like playing an RTS. I have them <laughs> now. These clones are way to cover for each other. Find that tech droid yet? Uh, uh, oh. In the bell tower, I can't get a clear line of sight. Let's that. Crosshair is always the most effective when he's part of a team. That yeah. interactive lighting is so good. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Oh, God, he that fell amazing. slowly into the shield. So good. <laughs> it's like he melted into it. Yeah. <laughs> it was, I Let's love Let's play it. Battlefront. Let's go play Battlefront. <laughs> oh, oh Amanda man, droids. Man. Oh yeah, Commander's good. Right. No! Uh-oh, uh-oh! Ah, uh, there went Nova. Nova's dead. Man. Oh, will you cry about Wyler? Oh, well, Wyler. He got shot first. Oh my gosh! There's so many. I think I killed by a farmer, okay? This is crosshair. They were broken. Remember they were like zombies? Okay, sure. <laughs> sure, sure. Oh, yes, I love these. <laughs> so cool. The other group? Yeah. I used to do that in Golden Eye with the grenade launcher. <laughs> donk, donk. <laughs> I look at the other screen over there. <laughs> oh, oh, that's scary. The helmet came off. Oh, oh, oh. 
Cody. Gosh. And they're so strong. Oh, Cody got a knife. Very nice. Knife. Knife. Take it out. Knife. On our ears. Cody. Good job, Cody. Oh. That's how Hunter would take things out. I'll take out the tech droid. I can make the shot from here. <laughs> Give me a line of sight. He's gonna bounce all of the mirrors. No way. Just start placing them. Oh, Cody. You got shot. In the air? Oh, man. That's crazy. Oh, I blinked the metal. They melted the droid deck up back there, too. Holy oh, shit. That's one of the craziest kills in Star Wars. Can't do that in Battlefront. I love the. I, I still love the battle droid falling into the shield. We are not the enemy. The Empire seeks to establish peace and order throughout the galaxy. Crossing's gonna peace. shoot her, isn't he? There was a time I believed in that. So much so, my colleague Mina Bonteri and I put forward wow. a treaty with separatists and Republic senators alike to end the war. Your Supreme Chancellor rejected it. I realized then, peace was never an option. What are you thinking, Cody? Hmm. It's an option now. <sighs> Listen, we both lived through one war. Let's not start another. Too many people have died already. We can resolve this without more bloodshed. I have a feeling she's going to die somehow. Do this. I just don't know how. People. Crosshair's not going to hesitate. Or he'll he'll do something. handled. Now execute her. Sir, I promised a peaceful. You did. I didn't. Now execute her. Good soldiers follow orders. So much for peace. I gave you an order. Follow it, or face the consequences for disobeying. <laughs> Crosshair did it. Mm -hmm. Put a body in the square. Let it be a warning to the rest of them. Doesn't have to be battle hardened to be a dick. It's a far cry from Obi Wan Kenobi. Go find Rex, man. I like that. I like right? having Cody like. No, no, not feeling right about this. Is that a jetpack on his back? What is that? I don't believe so. It reminds me of like Sabine's jetpack, like how little they were. Sure. We make our own decisions, our own choices. And we have to live with them too. a bit maybe a bit be cool if Cody and him like connect on this issue mm -hmm. oh, finish a meal fucking rampart and I just have fun <laughs> I'm so bad <laughs> Sorry, it's like you wait Joe. until he starts to eat and then go mm -hmm. CC2224 It appears he has gone a wall. Hmm. Interesting. Clone loyalty does not seem to be as advertised anymore. Funny, isn't it? How these clones around you keep disappearing. Problem. 
now, sir. Hmm. Then you're dismissed. <laughs> Rampart just shows the the new imperial <coughs> like mindset of like you don't have names. Damn. I like this episode a lot. Damn. It's really fucking good. I mean, I like the premiere, but that was my... my oh, it was the definitely episode good. episode was the best so I, far. I really like it. It just, yeah. it seems so much more somber. The mm-hmm. music, Very especially. Serious. In that, in this final scene. Yeah. It's amazing, Kevin well, it's, Yeah, it's not the... Dun, 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 dun. No, I, I liked it a lot. Even the action. Like, it felt like Clone Wars yeah. a little bit, but, like, they had some really cool things that they did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just I really love like the, the shots with the reflection things are really cool but I, I just love the idea of st- sticky grenading that droid and then and shooting him, him and him falling and, him and falling ah. into the other droid shield <laughs> so, so that he blows him up it was yeah, so cool I loved it fantastic what a move I just you oh, know cool. my, my uh what no I saw Shelby Young did the tactical voice mm-hmm. the tactical droid yeah mm-hmm. everybody eventually if you're in that booth long enough will do a tactical droid <laughs> they always change out the cast uh, I especially loved it because of the conversation in front of the memorial. Like, my favorite things about the Clone Wars, and there are some people that don't like this, but the idea that the inhibitor chip takes away your choice, right? Especially after the Pong Krell trilogy. Yeah. yeah. Where it's like, we're not droids, we're men! You're not. They take, they, they literally programmed it into you. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's, the, that's the tragedy of the clones. It's the curse of the clones. You know? And it's cool that the sequel trilogy kind of like, you know, Finn takes back from being a stormtrooper. The clones become the stormtroopers. Finn takes that back. Xana in episode nine, they take that back and they rebel. You know, I always liked that. I think you could push it further if you wanted to, too. Sure. Sure. But like, that's kind of like breaking of the curse. Whereas Order 66 is like the culmination of the curse where there's the one thing. Like, remember Cody in episode three? He's like, Wish I hadn't gave him back his lightsaber. Now nah, it's hard killing him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah. So, it's just, it sucks. Like, Cody's like, we have to live with our choices, and that was not his choice. But he still has to live with it. He still believes yeah. that it was, yeah. right? And, nah, and yeah. the governor's right. Your entire war you fought and cared for was in vain. It yeah. was just Palpatine. Well, I, I like the governor um, talking about Dooku and like Dooku is right like yeah he saw the I mean, collapse he, of the Republic I mean he had insider information a little bit I guess too and he oh, was yeah. kind of being yeah. tricked a little bit both sides and whatnot. And but he episode, knew it was going to become something worse than what it was yeah, like he was right? being used the episode but, yeah, 3 novelization knew. at least like you get into Dooku's head right before he's confronted by Anakin and Obi-Wan he talks about like this empire will be an empire of men and us humans will rule over all of the galaxy like kind of talking about how they're kind of xenophobic but at least in that iteration uh he knew definitely the empire was the goal and that he was going to have a big part of it mm-hmm. yeah no yeah. do it yep mm-hmm. and there again all in vain because of palpatine dooku cody it was cool to see commander cody again i like that a lot yeah um i'm curious to see like where he goes or what he does does yeah. he get together with rex like we're familiar with some clone stuff mm-hmm. in the future of where they go and whatnot, but like Cody is kind of just a blank area there where it's like I don't know what he does, you know? Yeah, I mean, you know, we've talked before, and we'll probably talk even more about this in Badakagong at some point. But how droids kind of take on characteristics of their owners, right? Like R two is a little more like Anakin. Three PO is, you know, he's a protocol droid. He spends a lot of time in the Senate. He's a lot more like diplomatic. Clones are kind of the same way. You know, I mean, like, again, I don't like having to with compare them with droids. With but, who they're under, kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, Rex is a little more rebellious because he was with Anakin, and then Cody here, he puts his gun down and is negotiating with this governor. Mm-hmm. What is Obi Wan Kenobi? But he's the negotiator. He's the negotiator. Sure, I, I love that detail, and that's he, just fucking fantastic. Yeah. Well, and then like you know, I promised there'd be peace, and yeah. you would have a uh, heck in one of the more recent uh, things that we covered. We talked a little bit about. There's a time when uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi brings Asajj Ventress to talk to the council. Mm-hmm. 
and then like arrest her. And he's like, yeah. I promised her that she would come to no harm by coming to us yeah. and talking to us. Like he's like, this is the deal I made. Mm-hmm. Honor my deal that I made, and don't go behind. Like that's exactly what yeah. Cody's doing here. He's yeah. like, I promised peace. You know, not. He's like, and I gave you an order. You're doing this. You know, that's that's the difference there. But Obi Wan and Cody both, I think, have that same idea yeah. because of like that. In a way, they're kind of like father figures, right? In a mm-hmm. little bit, like because like who do they have otherwise besides the. Uh, Kaminoans, I guess, you know? Yeah. Or maybe other clones, but they, they're all, like, brothers as opposed yeah. to, like, father figures and stuff. So you end up tossing in these generals and leaders and stuff, and that's kind of who they have to look up to. Especially Anakin and Obi-Wan, I yeah. would say, too. Obi-Wan's pretty good at that, too. Less so than Anakin. Anakin will fight for his clones. You know? Yeah. That's why the Five of First is Vader's fist. Yeah. They well, are loyal. Episode three, right? When uh-huh. it's like... Let them do their job so we can do ours. Because yeah. yeah. he's going to go back and save them, and save his yeah. clones. So that was always the thing I liked was when the Jedi would look at them as being like individuals and people and not just similar to the Separatists yeah. of being droids and weapons and all that. Like, like, Krell. Yeah. Right? Okay. But yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen arguments before of people being like, man, I wish it wasn't an inhibitor chip. I like the idea that the clones choose, you know, and that's no. their thing. And I'm like, so much I more get tragic it. and yeah. stuff. I mean, it goes against everything they believe about themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they're they're helping the galaxy, but the, the biggest helping and, and driving force towards good was the Jedi. Mm-hmm. But um, they were lied to. And they constantly have, I mean, they talk about in the Clone Wars, they have nightmares. Like, yeah. Vibes is like, the night is over. They constantly have nightmares because that thing is fucking with their brain. Yeah. Fucking I think, with their choices. I think, I, I would, I, I love the moment too much of Rex holding a gun and like oh, shaking and trying to fight because he doesn't want to kill his friend, you know, somebody he cares about. <laughs> I know, man. Like, that moment there, like, if he was just like, you followed orders, you know, know, and you just shoot him. Sure, like, yeah. well, fuck you, yeah. you know. It's so much more tragic of well, being like, oh. and, and that's because he's Anakin's, you know, commander. Whereas Cody's kind of like, huh? Yeah, sure. Open fire, you know. Like he doesn't have that that feeling of like the authority's wrong. Obi Wan's always like, authority's right. We yeah. follow what the authority says. Yeah. Anakin is like, even what? if we don't like it, no, it's not. And thus Rex is like, you know. Yeah. It's a beautiful way of showing how much like being around people like you can affect them as much as they can affect you Mm -hmm. but it's so tragic when Cody's sitting there in front of that memorial with all of his brothers that knew they were doing the right thing at Geonosis and now he has to sit there and go like I don't think we're doing the right thing all these men died for no reason yeah and then he's AWOL off screen too which I think is a really good choice I think it's good too because then you can do anything with him like we know we knew what was going to happen and when you hear it you're like yeah good for you buddy I hope you find Rex. Well, because yeah, yeah. Kenobi and Anakin might not be able to be together, but Rex and Rex Cody could. Good. That'd be kind of uh, cool. No, I just I, I wouldn't mind seeing it, but also like I, I wanted him to like help convince Crosshair a little bit, yeah. maybe you know. I think like, he made him question it. I hope like, he so was too. laying awake there when his alarm went off. I hope that's the direction kind of, that we go to just see more and more of Crosshair, like kind of like really doubting his decisions. And I, I like the line of like. You know, you're talking about, like, the droids, and, you know, they yeah. get to make choices. Yeah. But I also like the line of, like, we have to live with those choices, yeah. you know? True, yeah. Droids just do what they do, and then they're programmed for the next thing. But yeah. the clones, like, I, if I killed my Jedi Master, you got to live with that. Mm-hmm. And then think about that later on, where it's like, well, I followed the orders, but here's how I feel about them. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so hopefully Crosshair comes to that as well, right? Like... It was a, it was kind of a callous moment, right, from Rebels when Callus yeah. is in his own bedchamber and kind of like with the warm stone thing a, after yeah. after mm-hmm. being stuck on that ice planet. Which, I mean, hell, he was stuck on Camino for how many thirty two rotations days? a month. <laughs> like I know they left him, but I didn't know it would be that long. Yeah. Ugh. And I thought like, about it here, but Rampart can't get Crosshair in trouble or anything or fight it because. Right now, he's trying to hide the fact that Clone Force 99 is even alive, right? True. Yeah. So, he to is. punish him on that means he has yeah. to admit that they are still around. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. So, then he's just putting him on these missions, using him. Yeah. I mean, he's a hell of an assassin. He is. Sure. Dude, the tank shot was great. It was awesome. I love how he was, like, baiting the tank to aim at him. Yeah. He didn't move. Wow. Well, it shot, like, right over his shoulder. He's like... Well, yeah. I mean, he could yeah. tell where the tank was aiming. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Well, it's not at me yet, but... They don't have to be, like, right at you. No, <laughs> you sure. You gotta be close. But. I also like the mention of uh, Bonteri. Yeah. Mina. Yeah. I thought that was mm-hmm. cool. 
Because yeah, there yeah. should like there was a separatist like governing senate type Heroes of thing. Heroes on right? both yeah. sides. Yeah. yeah, there was so, a capital. And we saw them trying to do the peace broker. Yeah. You know, Padme was working towards that, and then she was killed for that. So I like her bringing that up, being like. I tried the peace route, and this is what happened, and I don't believe in that anymore. And then Cody pushes for that, too. and It just keeps things connected more, you know? And I like that. Yeah. I like seeing, like, how are people being affected? And you see the the, the girl and the mom who are, like, mm-hmm. scared. Yeah. And Cody's like, it's okay, we're the good guys. And they're like, uh, yeah. yeah, we're fine. We don't need you. <laughs> yeah. But, like, Connie Ames, the former governor, they used to be a separatist. They'd never bow down to the Republic, but the Republic won the war. You know, like, what are you going to do? And then I, it's just such a betrayal of Cody to be like, look, we all want peace. I'll set my weapon down. We can do the right thing. And then that uh, Groton, like, orders him to not only kill her, but to string her up in the square. Yeah. Which is the I exact think. opposite of putting his weapon down. You know, it's ex- like, like he, we do, I do not, like, you don't get a voice. No. You don't no. get a choice. No. It's us. And who's this guy? He's a fucking coward, <laughs> you know? Well, that's, I was going to say, too, like, that guy was very scared until he was yeah. freed and had other people with guns exactly. to do his bidding, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, he didn't do anything. No, he's just a straight-up fascist, right? Like, it's it's not even might makes right. It's what's right. Like, you know, like, he has to wait until he gets his might back, which is just other people's. Yeah. Because he was given it. It's frustrating. No, it, it captures is. what I loved about Andor. It captures what I loved about Clone Wars and puts yeah. them together. And it's like you're watching like an episode of Clone Wars, like, "Hey, clones, go through the city," you know. But there's all this undercurrent. And to be fair, Clone Wars kind of had this too, where you're like, "Ah, the Republic's winning," but then you get to the end, and you're like, "Why the fuck is Palpatine smiling so much?" <laughs> you know. And you get this feeling of like there's a there's that veil of the dark side over your eyes is starting to go, but here like you can just see right through that veil and how much it sucks. Yeah, it's. Know? definitely interesting going from like Clone Wars being like go Rex go Cody being like but they're bad go droids Uh, (laughs) I know and I I think that Kevin Kiner is doing a huge service to all of us when he makes you feel like when you watch Clone Wars and it has the happy music and you're like yay this is what we're supposed to want but you listen to even this has this you know this melancholy song playing throughout the credits where it's like there are no winners here Sure. It's a, it's definitely an interesting era to do, um, like, a cartoon even, right? Because usually cartoons, like, even in all ages, show. a lot of people are like, oh, these are for kids and stuff. But Bad Batch era yeah. is a very, like, I feel like serious oh, and yeah. somber time mm-hmm. of, like, an evil entity taking yeah. over and just tightening its grip on every single individual in the galaxy yeah. it can, you know? Yeah. So yeah. It, it, it's not as lighthearted as some other things no. would be. Though, in the same sense, Clone Wars is about a war, you know? And typically wars aren't very fun and crazy either, but... Yeah. You know, if Star Wars is a, uh, a vehicle to learn some lessons about how characters interact, how people interact, this is, this is the dark times. Mm-hmm. And the lessons are going to be... Not the most bright and chipper. Well, I'm going to open up, see if we can get some uh, Q&As. Keon, Keon t- t- Rion, who says, We're getting a theme of exploring separatist opinions on the Empire's rise, and it's super interesting. Good to see Cody back shooting clankers. But the entire episode, I felt this dread of, Wow, I'm kind of rooting for the Empire, even though I know they're wrong. Because you're, you're, yeah, you just immediately go back like, yeah, the clones, we're going, guys, let's do yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, exactly. And then, yeah, last episode we had, uh, what was his name, Romano or R- R- Romar? Romar? Romar Adele. We had him talking about the people of Sereno and yeah. all mm-hmm. that. So, yeah, we're getting, mm-hmm. I like seeing more of, I'm trying to think of any other times, really, that we've seen much of separatist people and how they were affected after the war. Yeah. You know, and we don't have that many examples of that, I don't feel sure. like. So, it's, I, I like seeing that a lot. Mm-hmm. Imperial Rebel says, oh, there are those droid decas. <laughs> Where are those droid decas? We found them. <laughs> they were on Desix. Mm-hmm. Desix. Which was such a beautifully Desix. bad I wonder if there's a planet. Div I wouldn't five. want to be there. Huh? I wonder if there's a Div 5. Div 5, Div 6, Div 4. Div 7. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Div 7, 8, 9. I just wonder if we've ever had Desix before, but I don't think so. It doesn't remind me of anything. I feel like I would remember that castle. Yeah, the fortress. Yeah, that was cool looking. Oh, I didn't think about this. I don't think so. But Grant Smith asked, 
What an episode. So did Cody actually go AWOL, or did Rampart give him the Wilco treatment? And if Cody is alive, will we see him again this season? Mm. I think he's alive. But I like that thought that, man, what if, if Rampart found out that he did anything like that, he might kill him. But I don't mm. think so. I think Cody is given a certain leeway through his rank. Yeah. And uh, most clones, most, and they, they mentioned that even some of the regs are defecting or going AWOL, but most clones are sticking around. Hmm. But we have this ominous uh, defense recruitment belt coming up, too, where yeah. they can already tell, like, they're going to replace us. I would be very disappointed if Cody didn't actually go AWOL off screen. Yeah. And, in fact, he did get silenced by rampart like that would, would be too. that would be very disappointing yeah and to that character zach beckwith says i thought the episode was really cool i really love the symbolism as they were leaving desix the departing clones who fought and died for the mission and to a degree what they think is right are simply replaced with tk troopers for the changing of the guard mm-hmm. yeah the clones mm-hmm. like limping off and they fought the fight and now here comes the authority one i like the uh I mean, it's not like a huge detail, but just the the random background conversation of the uh, defense recruitment bill, and like, mm-hmm. you know, for our sake, I hope it doesn't go through. You know, like the idea yeah. of like, well, they're gonna probably add more money or agree to like recruit people for a war mm-hmm. or for soldiers and get rid of all the clones and yeah. stuff. Yeah, so it's just slowly telling that story of the transition and everything, and you you see like, well, we'll use these guys and they're expendable. Then yeah. we'll recruit these guys to enforce afterwards, right? Mm-hmm. Use these guys because yeah, the they're war. the good fighters. That we want to use for the hard fights, but then after the hard fights are beaten, then we just want the guys that are easy to manipulate. Yeah, know? these guys well, have the we loyalty. Get literally pay like the clones don't get paid for what. No, they yeah, do, but stormtroopers do. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you you get their loyalty. You have loyalty of the people, and you sacrifice off the clones and stuff to yeah. fight for you in the danger. Number stuff. one thing you want to do in a coup is get the military on your side and get them paid. They'll do crazy, terrible things mm-hmm. to the population. Uh, Lucas Fide says, Fun fact, they name-dropped CC-1226, which is a clone first mentioned in Star Wars The Essential Guide to Warfare. If it's cano- uh, canonically, canonically the same clone, this commander would have been around for the first battle of Geonosis. Interesting. Interesting. Ep3 script says, Great change of pace this week. Loved uh, that it was pretty much a Clone Wars episode, but we're almost seeing the Separatists as the good guys this time do you think we'll see more clones desert the empire during the season and maybe even start a clone rebellion which is something that we talked about uh or we theorized talking of you know last uh, last season in legends there is a kaminoan rebellion that utilizes clones and it was stamped out i wonder if we will get any type of like clone rebellion uh storyline that's adapted from from legends Hmm. that could be cool (laughs) That would be cool. To be fair, there already was kind of like a Kaminoan rebellion with clones that got stamped out. But there was only like five of them. Mm -hmm. Wasted Waves asks, so how do the chips actually work? So from what I understand, the chips are designed to make clones uh, challenge authority far less than they normally would have, right? Like, Django challenges authority, but the clones almost never do. They have that ingrained, good soldiers follow orders. And I think sure. that's a passive thing the chip always does. It, But it can be overcome. It, It's called an inhibitor chip, yeah. right? So it increases your inhibitions mm-hmm. to do things that you wouldn't normally do, that's right? right. Yeah. So good soldiers follow orders. Mm-hmm. They follow the orders rather than going against that yeah. and being an exhibition. Yeah, right? they don't put their own authority up to the authority of the order given. Yeah, uh, Things like Order 66. Order 66 is not a like magic code word that they like step for wives like, start killing, you know? It's a uh, specific one of many orders. This was like, Order 66 is the Jedi have rebelled against the, rebe- uh, the, uh, the Republic they are now public enemy number one. That's just a, like, 
if the order, if the Jedi saw that, hey, there's a thing called Order sixty six, they'd be like, well, yeah, sure, but that's never gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Sure, I get what you mean. There's a lot of standing orders like that. It's just that chip, and then that placing that order out there at the same time makes it so that the Jedi can't respond. Sure, you know. Though the weird thing about that though is that the one clone, because of his inhibitor chip, yeah, triggered Order sixty six without being ordered mm-hmm. Order sixty six though. Yeah. So I feel like there's also something in there too that there helps has to, to make be, sure that that's, yeah. that's what it's also triggering. You there's, know? Well, there's, there must the, be some kind of organic programming in there as well. Yeah, like there, with there the is, images that. There that definitely is, there, so. and, I, and it's related to the dreams that they have. Like yeah. this, tr- this chip inside their brain affects their brain chemistry in a way that's not necessarily designed. And that malfunction, which could have given away the entire plan, you know, uh, is in there because the clones have dreams of killing their brothers and killing Jedi. Mm-hmm. And whatever rattled around in, uh, was it Cut Up? I can't remember exactly who. No, Cut Up, right? Tup, Tup. Tup. I always say yeah. Cut Up and then, yes, yeah, Tup. Uh, Tup just well, both get, he gets rattled and, like, that dream becomes a reality and he has psychos- psychosis for a second. And you got to remember, his chip was faulty. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Like, it was all messed up. Yeah. I don't, I, I'm curious on how they operate mm-hmm. otherwise, too. Like, I wonder if they're, like... I feel like with the brain and stuff, lots of things with the brain is revolving around chemicals, you yeah. know, endorphins or, you know, whatever it is that's being released into the brain and whatnot yeah. to make you kind of feel the way you feel. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it, like operates with that yeah. or like what it does to your brain or brain chemistry sure. to make you be how you are you know the frustrating not frustrating but and honestly the kind of like beautiful part of the story is that Palpatine he has his entire plan and he has these clones created so that they will follow his orders at the right time but the thing that he doesn't think about is that they are not droids they are men so you have an inkling of rebellion that can give spark to something greater. Mm. So what happens in the clones and stuff like the Bad Batch is just a miniature version of what is going to happen throughout the entire galaxy. And it's something that Palpatine doesn't even consider. It's not a big deal. I can crush it. But he can't crush all of them. Mm -hmm. You know? So there's the close (laughs) answer to what it is. Yeah. (laughs) Sorry. Adam says, do you guys think Rampart is purposely calling Crosshair to his office while having breakfast just to be petty. <laughs> it's like every time he sits down. I think he would. Please go to Rampart's office, please. Ah! That would really bug me. Uh, MCU Forever says, Between this show and Tales of the Jedi, do you wish that we had more Shades of Grey during the actual Clone Wars series with more Descent and Noble Separatists? Also, I'm disappointed that Tawny wasn't an alien, as all of the sympathetic Septs thus far have only been human. And that's true of the Clone Wars, though. Um, honestly, no, and not because of my own enjoyment. Like when I, one, when I think of Star Wars, I think oh, I really enjoy Star Wars. But also, I, I love that when kids watch the Clone Wars, and it's like the only thing they've watched. The Republic are the good guys, the Separatists the bad guys, the Jedi are great, the clones are great, and then they watch the movies and everything goes wrong. And I think that's important. So I'm glad the Clone Wars didn't like have more shades of gray. My and myself, I give sure. it to me. You know, I like think you, I, I think it's better that way for him. In the grand scheme of the story, tiny shadows here and there. Yeah, no, definitely. But what? he was going to blow up the ship. Yeah, <laughs> you know, exactly. Stabbed a man in the back. <laughs> yeah, you see the shadows. I mean, and then you know, obviously, when we get to the end of the Clone Wars, we we see the real darkness show up. But mm-hmm. I, I think it's important to remember that one shows like Bad Batch and Clone Wars are for all ages. It's, you know, Andor is dark and gray and and messy, but. I can't imagine many kids like thinking this is the best part of it's the best Star Wars. You know, it's mainly meant for adults. Yeah. Uh, where and then you have shows like Resistance that are mainly meant for younger kids, and yeah. then you have shows like Bad Batch and Clone Wars that everybody, no matter your age, can look at it and get something. We, as more jaded adults, can be like, "Man, yeah, that sucks." Kids can be like, "What the? F- what's going on here? You know, why are the clones like this? I don't understand." Like, you know, that's why Star Wars teaches us lessons, no matter what age we are. Mm-hmm. Sure. I'm trying to think. I feel like there was non-human separatist like sympathizer people, wasn't there? Not necessarily the ones where you're like, eh, that's one of the good ones. Mm. You know, we get. I just uh, feel like they always died. I mean, most of the separatist council is are all aliens. Wasn't one of the banking clan guys good? Like with the big nose people? Well, the moon. Um, were they good? I mean, they were used just like everybody. I thought there was one that was good. Like that, I feel like I'm. It was more I sympathetic. To, I need to watch through again. Can see. Well, but. there was uh, Padme's dude. 
what was his name? Yeah, he was human. The, like, well, sure, yeah. Right. The one that took over? Well, yeah, he was raised yeah. by the moon and became part of the banking clan, and he was seen as more sympathetic. Yeah. But, but the moon was... were like, we don't have any money. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But he was also human. That guy was. He was. Uh, but, no. I, why can't I think of his name right now? Padme Suter, right? Yeah. yeah. The guy that... <laughs> one. Remember, he like he, he was like... Oh, yeah. no. He's like, well, if there's something going on with you and General Skywalker, there's no problem with this. And he goes to kiss Padme, and that's right when Anakin walks in. He's like, what are you doing? And he starts beating the fuck out of him. And then the guy's like, uh, you you don't like winning because of your Jedi tricks. Try to fight me like a man. And Anakin's like, okay. And he has this some metal arm. Bam, and he starts punching him more. Yep. Co starts with a C. Nah, I can't remember it now. Too many characters. Can't remember them all. There's a lot of characters. That's why when the one lady took off her mask, I was like, I don't think I recognize her. No, I don't remember. I don't recognize her. You get your book, Calvin? Yeah. All right. Let's see these notes at work. Clovis. Good job, Calvin. Rush Clovis? Something Rush like Clovis. that. Yeah. I don't know take you, so I wasn't sure. Good I job. I knew it was on the front well, page, page of one of these two. Yeah, you know, one page. He only has one no, page. Yes. No, I don't. Oh, I know. You have so many. I have so many for this. <laughs> Like You're pretty good about putting character names in the first page. I have actually like five pages of Clone Wars notes on this one, mm. and I have a bunch of uh, Rebels. Gotcha. All right, and that's the last uh, Q&A that we have for this episode. Hmm. It, was a great, it was a great one. It, it was. the type of stuff I want to see from Bad Batch, honestly. It is. Like, it's fun to go on adventures with, you know, with our crew, and you kind of get sometimes like a Ninja Turtle... You know, vibe from it a little bit, right, Calvin? Right, Calvin. But then you have episodes like this, and it's all, you know, Foot Clan and other mut- mutations. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just like it. Yep. Tatsu. Tatsu. Rokusaki. I'm just saying things I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? Ruka Sensei. <laughs> Ruka Sensei. Um, I'm curious, like, Bowls if of all of this is going to culminate in like crosshair actually defying orders and mm-hmm. maybe that's why we don't hear about Vice Admiral Rampart later. Maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, Rampart seems to be on the, the cusp of a lot of these new programs like replacing clones with people and then yeah. he also was doing the uh, the like card system or whatever, right? Last season where it was like... Card system. Yeah, being able to like track people oh, or something like the that. the ident cards. Yeah, yeah I get you. Yeah. Yeah. Identic cards or something like that. Which we, yeah. I think we they, see. They, tra- they transfer the credits over, right? Yeah. And then uh-huh. they also got their identity chip mm-hmm. or whatever they were called. Yeah. Right? yeah, like without this thing, you can't have travel money or whatever, whatever, which will ultimately be way worse for the Empire later. All right, uh, we have a poll for this episode. All right, guys, poll for this week. We've already had two episodes now showing uh, um, how the Empire is unjustly doing things to the citizens of the galaxy and Crosshair is checking it out, right? So last season we talked about, well, will Crosshair eventually make it back with the Bad Batch? But it didn't happen. Mm -mm. Does it happen this season? Mm. Do we have Crosshair at the very least going AWOL himself Mm -hmm. and refusing orders from the Empire? Does that happen or is he a true believer? He was willing to just shoot Tawny. You know? (sighs) He totally was. Yeah, no problem with that. Yeah. Did seem like it was affecting him at the end of the episode though. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering like how much more can he take from Rampart before he's like, you know what, Cody was right, I'm out. I don't want to have to live with this. But you know what, there are some people that spend their whole lives not being able to sleep well because of the things they've done. It's true. It doesn't stop him from doing them. Sure. So, I'll say no, he doesn't. He doesn't. Hmm. Cody's stubborn, or he's crosshair, he's stubborn, this is where he's going to be. I mean, we certainly are going to get a conflict of Rampart trying to pretend as if they're dead. Sure. And then Crosshair being the only one that knows they're not. Yeah. But is I don't is know. it going to be like a tragic end for Crosshair? You think is the, that what you're kind of going for? I, don't know. I mean, the only thing is, is that he's the only sympathetic character on the Imperial side. So if he's not there, we don't get to see it. And I want to see it, so I say no. Like we could have followed Cody, and then Crosshair could have ch- changed, you know. But uh, but Cody didn't. He didn't. What about Fox? Fox? Wasn't that one the red one? Yeah, there. Or uh, Appa? Oppo. Op- yeah. Damn. <laughs> he does have the arrow. He has the arrow. What do you think, Calvin? He leaves or no? Does he go mm. back to Bad Batch? I don't know if he goes back to Bad Batch, but I think he does leave, leave. the Empire. Mm. 
goes into hiding on yeah. his own, kind of like what Rex was doing, and maybe. Yeah. Uh, and the uh, the farmer. Can't yeah. remember his I name. can never remember his name. Cut. McQueen. <laughs> was it cut? I think so. So cut up, cut top. Yeah. Cut top, cut up. I think so. All right. Cut top. All right. I don't know. Is it on your notes? Guys, thank you so much for watching Bad Batch with us. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's episodes. We'll be covering it right here on the channel every week. Also, thank you to Matthew Wood for coming back with Battle Droids. This is so yeah. cool. I love Battle You're Droids. welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we got a moment with Battle Droids. So cool. And they high five. Subscribe, guys. And Badonka Gong.